Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to create and write data to a CSV file in Bash. So what we are going to do is we will uh, create a Bash um, script that will uh, create a CSV file if it doesn't exist. And then later on we will ask the user to enter some details. Uh, and we will be considering an employee or a student we can also consider. And we will just store those information into that CSV file. So let's get into it. Here I have created in the current directory that sh file and the bash scripts are mostly uh, have the extension the sh and you can also um, create bash scripts with the bash as well as the zip sh. So I am using dot sh extension. The first line and most of the bash scripts you will use the shebang. So what this is is this uh, is actually the path of the um, the bash that you are using to uh, in order to execute the script to find it you can use the which bash command this will uh, find out which where is the um, bash tool so i will just uh, copy and paste it here now here what we are going to do is we will uh, first create a bash uh, sorry that uh, csv file and then we will ask user like enter these details and we will store those details into the um, to that csv file so to create a file we can use the touch command in linux so if i type um, touch and data.csv and if i ls as you can see we created that file so we can use exactly this expression so i can copy that and paste it right here and now once the file is created we can write some data to this so as always the first um the first line in the csv is considered the header so we need to create a header for that so to write a header into a csv let's uh, use the echo and we want to write the name as well as age and address of an employee we can consider like a student as well it's considered an employee and we will write this to data.csv and we have to comment this line if you press ctrl plus power slash it will automatically comment this line um, that you i'm commenting this because we already have created that file we can later on we will add condition like if this doesn't exist this file we then add this file so it is considered uh, currently empty so let's execute the script to execute a bash script you can use the uh, shebang that you uh, the command that you got from here as well as you can uh, there's a, uh, a shortcut like you can directly type bash and the path of the bash script that you have so i have uh, add dot sh bash script so i will execute this and now if i check out the Mm, data.csv file which is right here i can use the care command uh, i will type care data.csv and voila we here we have um, added the headers to the csv so if i go back to vs code here is the csv file and i can preview it like uh, um how does it look like uh, in the csv format as you can see right here these are the header that we added all right, now let's add some um, data to this CSV. I will comment this and copy and paste it. And let's say the name of the employee is Ali and age is 45 and add this as um, some random address, something. And go back to the terminal and execute the bash and then add .sh, which is the bash script. And if I get the data.csv file again, as you can see, we have the, um, the record, but here the issue or the mistake I made is um, I overwrote uh, the headers. So, um, as I mentioned in the uh, previous tutorials, like uh, the single angle right angle is used to write the data to that file and remove all the other data. Well, if you want to append the data, you can use the double right angles. So now let's add the oh uh, in the headers uh, in this uh, part we will just add the remove all the data and add. Um, just the headers and then later on we will like in, uh, in this part I will be appending this data to that so let's execute the script again and if I get that file data.csv and voila here we, uh, here we have the headers as well as the data so if I go back to that csv file here we have and I can preview it right here I have installed an extension that is I'm um, going to preview the csv files all right now let's um go beyond limits so uh, like currently we are just uh, writing the data statically so like we can store the variables uh, these so the first thing like i can do is um, i can store the name of the file in a csv 
uh, in a variable and then I can check uh, like if the, the file doesn't exist don't go ahead and create that file otherwise mm, don't create that file and uh, carry on the processing so um, let's create a new variable name it uh, csv underscore file and equal that to the csv file name and we can check like if the file doesn't exist and go ahead and create it I will comment these lines and to make a condition like that we can use uh, f condition and take f for file and if the file that is a cnc underscore file in order to create a variable you don't have to use any dollar sign well if you are calling that variable you will have to use the dollar sign and then if this condition is true then go ahead and use the touch command we can copy this one and paste it right here and if this is the case then go ahead and uh, touch that file mean create that file and fi to uh, end up that loop so f and fi mean uh, start of loop uh, start of uh, sorry f conditions and end up uh, f conditions so now uh, if I delete this uh, file and delete permanently, now I don't have that data.csv. And here you can call the, uh, the variable again. So I will copy this and instead of data.csv, I can directly call the variable name. So let's save this and execute the script that is add.csv. And here we we didn't create that file. So yeah, so we need to check like if the file doesn't exist. So I am checking like if the file exists then execute this so we need to act like uh, if not this condition then execute the script so it will check like if the file doesn't exist then it will create that file sorry for that mistake and let's execute the script again and else as you can see we have the file right here so now if i execute the same script again it is uh, not going to um, execute the their part of code because we have condition like if this is true then go ahead and create their file so now we can append the headers so like when the file is newly created we can append that um, headers to it so i will copy the variable name that is data under csv underscore file and add it uh, here now if uh, we can append the data as well but let's check if uh, i will uh, delete the file delete permanently and i will execute the script so first of all it will create that file if it doesn't exist and then add, add headers to that um, CSV so if I execute add.sh file again and check the file in the terminal created that as well as add the headers to that CSV file so now we can ask user for inputs so to input these details and then later on we will append this to CSV so let's create a variable now let's echo so we will use echo and enter let's say employee name and uh, read that as name variable and let's ask for to make sure that works we can echo like that we can echo the name variable it, uh, it has the name that we are going to be passing uh, from the command line so if i save this and execute the bash script and it is asking to enter the employee name so let's enter what should I enter? let's enter the one is a man and as you can see we displayed that so which means this works now we can do the same thing for um, the age so enter employee we can do like age and store that in the age variable and do the same for employee address and do create a variable name address and let's write that file uh, these details to the file so we can directly call those by uh, we created those variables and now we can call uh, those variables by passing the dollar sign with it so the edge is dollar edge and the address is uh, dollar address and append that to the csv file that is in the variable name and the csv underscore file all right so if i mm, delete the file permanently and let's execute the script and this will do like if uh, the file doesn't exist it will create the file as well as add the headers and ask the user for input uh, for the employee name age and address and then it will store those data to that csv file all right let's do it so i will execute add.sh file and enter employee name so let's say ali age is uh, 5 and address is some address and Let's create that file so let's check this out and here we go we have the um, csv file created as well as mm, stored that uh, the data that we asked the user to import
now here we can um, add more conditions like if the um, variable that you enter is empty then uh, we don't want to add empty uh, variables to the csv like currently if i do something like um, if i execute the script and just enter enter and ls the nothing no errors we didn't see any error while we added um, simple um, empty data to the csv so we don't want this we want to add some validation so we can like check if um is empty to check if this is empty we can pass text zero and the name is um dollar name so if the dollar name variable is empty then uh, go ahead and print some error so error will be like uh, name can't be empty and and f so if i now you can do the same thing for others let's test this and clear the screen and call the script and employee name is empty and here we have to exit the script because uh, if i uh, i enter the uh, press the enter button while, while it displays it did work like this uh, the name is uh, empty but uh, here it uh, still it is running so we need to exit that so let's use the exit and we can pass like zero i guess so let's execute the script again Control c and empty and uh, yeah that's how it works so we can add conditions for the others as well so let's execute and pass the name let's say con and edge is uh, 34 and add it say add this and let's check the data if it is uh, stored in the csv in here here we go so that's how you can add um, data to a csv you can add uh, that's how you can add conditions to the mv variables like if this is not empty and if the file uh, doesn't exist in uh, create the file with touch command and um, stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe to this channel